Hi guys, welcome to the Enthusiastic Bows uh, series of blogs and video blogs where we're going to look at all things bows. Uh, we're going to make some cocktails, we'll try out some different spirits, we'll recommend some podcasts and books, share some drunken ramblings about hangovers and stories from nights out and stuff like that. Uh, every video that we're doing, we're going to put a cocktail with that and show you how to make it. So I thought it was a good idea for the first episode just to go through all the little bits that you might want or need to know. So equipment wise, what have we got? We've got a shaker. So they have come glass and tin or tin and tin. Makes no difference really. Um, if you haven't got one of these at home, I mean, it costs about four pound. You can get them online, no worries whatsoever. Or you can use a jam jar. As long as it's cleaned out, lid goes on there, put ice in, shake it, no problem whatsoever. We've got a jigger. So this is basically our measuring device. So we've got one shot or two shots. Sometimes I might talk in milliliters, so 25 mil, 50 mil, about as basic as it gets, right? We've got two types of strainer. We've got a Hawthorne strainer, and we've got a T or fine strainer, a sieve, basically. Go with them. You can, if you haven't got these in your kitchen, you, you will have a sieve of some description. You can just use that instead, no problem. The jigger, I'm sure you'll have a shot glass of some description. And then another little bit of equipment is called a muddler. Looks like a little baseball bat. Basically, that's for um, squashing through and getting the zest out of that, like the zest out of citrus and stuff like that. We can use that too. What else have we got? We've got a mixing jar. Although, to be honest, if you've got a shaker, you can just use the glass section of your shaker, or you can use a pint glass and then a sp cocktail spoon for moving the ice around the outside of the glass. Dead simple again but you can find other things in your kitchen that you can use instead. We're gonna use three types of glasses probably. We've got a double rocks glass, or a whiskey glass, a highball glass, is just a tall glass, and a cocktail coupe. Now if you haven't got these, you can get them all for about 12 pound if you order all three of them on Amazon. Bargain, you can even get them like in H&M and stuff, places like that. TK Maxx is the easiest and cheapest one probably. Now cocktail technique, we're not gonna go into it too much now, but there are two things that I would highly, highly recommend. One is you learn how to make sugar syrup. So this is basically two parts sugar to one part water or one part sugar to one part water, depending on how sweet you like your drinks. So all you do is put two cups of sugar and one cup of water in a pan, heat it until the sugar dissolves and then leave it to cool. That's your two to one sugar syrup or one to one sugar syrup. One cup of water, one cup of sugar in a pan Heat it up, let it cool, there you go, sorted. You can use whatever sugars you like, like that's a simple sugar syrup, so like just granulated sugar or caster sugar. But if you go do like two of sugar, but what, make half of that demerara, you get a nice demerara syrup. So if you're making like whiskey based drinks, that's a good shout as well. Another thing I generally insist on, because your, your cocktail will only be as good as your worst ingredient. So if you're using like Jiffy Lemon or something like that, it's going to be a terrible drink. No matter if you use a 50 pound whiskey or what. Fresh citrus juice. It's number one. Has, has to be. Has to be. A fresh citrus juice. Like I can't uh, underestimate how important that is. Other than that, let's subscribe guys. I'm going to ramble quite a lot. You can um, tell me whatever you like in the comments, whether it's good or bad. Makes no difference really. Um, and let's just have some fun. Let's make some drinks. It's a bad time at the minute. Why not? It's Improve All Fridays. 